Hey everyone, welcome to Miss Babs Learning Lab. We're going to learn about the CH sound. It's a digraph. CH makes the what sound? Can anyone tell me? That's right, it says ch, ch, ch. Here we have our character, Chauncey Chipmunk, who likes to eat chocolate chowder. And Chauncey says ch, ch, ch. Can you do that with me? Chauncey Chipmunk. Ch. Very good. So today we're getting ready to draw a picture of a word that has the ch sound at the end. Sometimes we talk about words that make the ch sound at the beginning, like chocolate, chipmunk, chowder, chips, chase, chicken. But today we're gonna to do words that have the ch sound at the end, like sandwich, lunch, bench, Okay, so I wonder if you can tell me what we're going to draw today. I don't know about you, but the last couple of weeks we've been in the house and I would really, really, really love to go to this place once we're able to go back outside again. So I wonder if you can figure out what we're going to draw. Okay, so right now get your paper and pencil. We're going to draw that middle line. Okay, you can put today's date at the top. Today's date for me is April 21st, 2020, okay? All right. So you have your paper and pencil. Make sure when you're drawing your picture, you're staying in the same area as me to ensure you have enough spa space on your page, okay? So the very first thing I'm going to draw is squiggly lines right here all the way across okay next step draw a diagonal line like this and a straight line like this and we're going to connect those two lines Spiky line straight up and down. Okay. From there, we'll draw a curved line like this on this side and a curved line like this on that side of that spiky line. Okay. From the top, we're going to come here and make a curved line like that. And over here, curved line like that. Okay? And a small curved line down here on the bottom and here on this side. Where the top of that spike is, we're going to draw another line and we're going to create a flag that looks like that. Okay? Under this squiggly line, we're going to draw another squiggly line about right here. But those waves are going to be a little wider. In that, we're going to draw a skinny oval, looks like that. Straight line that comes up, straight line out, straight line out, and a curved line to connect. Okay. In that curved line, we're just going to draw some more curved lines here. Okay. We're going to add big cloud here and sun shining bright. 
We are done. Boys and girls, what did we draw? It's a beach. Beach. Can you say beach? Do you hear that CH sound at the end? Beach. Very good. So we're going to label our picture. Okay, so I'll just do it right here. What is the first sound in beach? B. 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 Next sound is E. The long E sound. And that is going to be E A. B E ch ch ch. C H goes at the end. Nice job. And we're gonna underline that and label. Beach. Beach. I would love to be on the beach right now. This looks so peaceful and relaxing. Okay, so we are all done with our illustration. Now it's time for you to get your color pencils, markers, crayons to decorate your drawing of your beach. When you're all done, then we're going to write sentences about the beach. Today's writing, you're going to tell me if you were on the beach right now, what would you do? What are some things that you see on the beach? Some things that you might notice. How does it feel? What's the temperature like? Okay, so you're going to complete those sentences. Make sure you are doing five star writing. Okay, you have an uppercase letter at the beginning of each sentence. You have finger spaces between your words. Your sentences and your handwriting is nice and neat. Your sentences make sense. And at the end, you always put punctuation with a period, question mark, and exclamation mark at the end of your sentence, okay? So right now, go on and pause your video. I want you to finish coloring and decorating your illustration, and then write me sentences about what you would do or see on the beach. And I'll see you soon. All right, welcome back, boys and girls. Did you finish your picture and your writing about the beach? Very good. Well, here is mine. I've added lots of color and some more detail to my illustration. And here are my sentences. Your sentences, the sentence stem that you were given was, if I were on a beach, I would, and I finished it with swim. I would build lots of sand castles. I would also relax under an umbrella and read a book. Notice that I'm using five-star writing. I have uppercase letters at the beginning of my sentences. I have finger spaces in between my words. My sentences and handwriting is nice and neat, and they make sense. And then I have my punctuation at the end. All right? Today, we focus on ch -ch -ch, the CH sound. And we also know that these CH sounds can come at the end of a word like beach. Okay? Chanti Chipmunk says what? That's right. Ch -ch -ch. Nice job, boys and girls. We see you next time. Be sure to subscribe to Miss Babs Learning Lab for more educational videos.